sports. It's in the game. Welcome to EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. I'm Sonic, and this is the Road to the Masters. And we are now we're live. Hey, got to unmute the microphone. All right, we have a daily arcade win from yesterday's four hole tournament. Give us some points, 100 more points, and a daily pro elite rank. The pro level uh, four hole tournament. And there's there. That should now give us the tickets we were trying to get to run uh, the weekly and seasonal tournament. Tournaments. Not going to do those tonight, but we will be doing uh, in the future. At the weekly tournament on the pro level will be five tickets. So will be tens, fifteen. Um, go ahead and get a little warm up by doing our four hole tournament real quick. Hey JT, how's it going? Just jumping into our arcade level four hole tournament for a warm up. From just outside of Geneva, Switzerland, EA Sports coverage of the world of golf brings us to scenic Lac Le Mans and the Evian Resort Golf Club. Hello again and welcome. I'm Rich Lerner. We will check in with Nota Begay the third and Diona Steven as we move along, but I'm pleased as always to be joined in the 18th tower by a man who won 15 times around the world, Frank Navalo. And Frank, looking forward to what should be a fun afternoon of golf. Yeah, very much so, Rich. When you waited all morning, those afternoon rounds are a little special, aren't they? I'm really looking, though, for today to see if they come out of the gates nice and quick. That's for sure. I know the finish here is always important, but get out of the gates quick and then see if you can finish the job this afternoon. So let's get out and pick up the action as we head to the tee at the par 515. All right. So I did my camera a little bit, so I do a horrible job of, I know what my screen looks like, but I forget about what you're looking at. I used to be ball, um, got my club and all of that stuff. All right, R5, straight down this green. Yeah, just I'm, what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit really fairways, hit the middle up. of the club face. That's what now, they what did you're right not there. Seeing is second shot straight ahead, and we some more go to Iona so Steven. Me, and you can't ask for more from a tee shot here uh, on 15. A great angle now to over. take on those two fairway bunkers on the high point. Carry those, and you'll get a hop down towards the green. It is still covering up some data. So, well, after this tournament. Um, I just need to raise it up right underneath my name in the T-hole. So let's do that. This is going to uh, close the game window real quick. Let's right about 
there. Up a little bit more. That should be good, right? Now we'll see what you can see when I hit the ball. This so that I'm not looking stuff on my view. I didn't want to put it on the other side because then it covers my character uh, and I wanted to leave that open. I did look at that. Even up in the top corner it covers part of my character. That should be good. That should be right underneath um, the hole and shots, and then we should be able to see. All right, so approach shot. What do we got? Definitely don't want to use that because that would just run like crazy. Um, and this is a par five, correct? Yes. Only on our second shot. So, and run up. A little bit short. Go there and still pretty. If I jack it up, so pretty high. Oh no, that's going back to the wood. Got it. Make that ball run. Fifteen feet. I'm gonna go ahead and do this because technically we should be going the be running the wood off of the fairway on this. Probably gonna come up short. We're gonna give it all the power we got. Don't go in the bunker. Oh, dang it. That second shot got all the way down by the green, but in the bunker. So we'll have to see what the explosion shot can do from here. I <sighs> really need a birdie right now. Not starting off good today, chat. I'd still be able to birdie this. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Whew. Ah, yes, very well read to one under now for the day. What a good looking hole this is as Should we begin our Probably closing evil. stretch. The 16th is just 151 yards. Elevated T. You look down on that green, you see the two bunkers on the back. The mistake you don't want to make, it's obvious. That small pond on the left. And again, if the winds are swirling and they can here, it can be a tricky club selection. Loft. Guard. Guard. And we're going to the bike path. Oh, oh my god. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that. Um, really, I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. <sighs> We're blowing this freaking tournament today, chat.
Well, it's starting to feel like the Titanic right now. And the Brown can sink <laughs> in a hurry. I'm going to keep playing. You know, I mean, I can keep redoing this to... Uh, luckily, it's this is the rookie one, so it's not that bad. Time to just pick up and move on to the next hole. <laughs> <laughs> on to the final two holes here at Evian Resort, starting with the par four 17th. It's Back only up. 335 yards, so it's possible to get this close. However, those trees to the right have been known to knock down attempts to drive this green, and the sloped area left of the putting surface is nothing but trouble. Oh, wait. Uh. This. <laughs> well, and that's why I start with the arcade one because it doesn't cost anything to enter and I can keep redoing it. Uh, in the trees. Just, oh no, we're good. Ow. Oh. Yeah, and luckily the tournament goes by your best score. Second so. shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. And it's a solid start to the 17th. Good tee shot opening up the green all the way uphill, so be careful that you've got enough club. putting it anywhere and be okay we want it up on the right side of the holes not bad just a little more club I didn't pay and that'll do much. just fine shouldn't be much in this for birdie What is it? Mm, a good opportunity lost there. And he'll finish that off. It's in for par, and it'll keep him at two over for his round. <laughs> we close our round here at Evian with the 478-yard par 5, 18th. Definitely a great chance to get home in two, but you must carry the water guarding the front of the green. If you can pull that off, an opportunity to finish the round with a birdie or an eagle is in the offing. All right. Get it up here a little bit and maybe down the hill. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. And it's an right. excellent tee Down shot, but now it's feet. a risk and reward approach as we look to that water, a which sits in front iron. of the green, so what no margin we... to miss this short. Oh, man, that's rough. Um, I did go back to career mode yesterday played the next round of my career uh i am in third place going into day three so it's the first weekend i've made the cut be stoked about that 
Alright, so I don't think I want this even a little bit short. Put the way. Oh no, maybe not. Plenty of loft it looks like, so we're going downhill. We did lower one club on a little bit. Too much power. Well, that one had to feel good. Yeah, struck oh, it good. so it well you could see that by ball. the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. I hate it. <laughs> I'd rather have it just like one big arch. Oh boy, the pace was perfect. You don't just read those quite want to go well. down. But what a well played hole. Okay, he's able to get the shot back here. It is a good birdie, moving him to plus one for his round. So for Frank Nabilo and all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. Plus one. Garbage. Garbage. All right, so I'm going to do this. All right, so we're going to jump in. Uh, quick play. Stroke play. Just uh, back now. Our golf. This guy. Yeah, pink pants. All right, so now, when we left on Monday, we were uh, minus four, and he was my. Gotta remember that at the end of the end of the back and up. Now, from Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, set amongst the azaleas, dogwoods, magnolias, and pines. This is EA Sports coverage of the world of golf. Rich Lerner here in the 18th tower alongside Frank Nabilo, 15 times a winner around the world. Uh, Frank, normally we would see you over at that special spot, Amen Quarter, 12 T, but you're with me today. Take me back to your playing days. What ran through your mind as you stood over that opening tee shot? Uh, I, I couldn't feel my hands, really. I was so nervous to get to play there for the first time, and it was just a practice round. I think anybody that goes there for just a round of golf, you get the same feeling. You're like, am I really allowed to play? And then the course just comes to you. It, it really does. It flows beautifully. There's a lot more undulations than you even give it credit for, but, you know, hey, you're going to reference aim in corner? So will I. Aim in corner right. technically is the second shot into 11, 12, and the tee shot at 13, not the three holes. Like second nine, right?
This always a nervy tee shot, but it is level with the bunker and in the fairway here at hole number one. That really makes me feel good. And that is safely <laughs> on the left side of the fairway. A fine start here to his round. While sitting on an upslope here, you got to be careful that you don't get this one straight up in the air from that line. Fucker. That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Now a second from 162. <laughs> he has good pants. All those good pants. All right, so. Going up 16 feet, so we're not going to get uh, that all the way back to where we were aiming. Want to give it a little more than a regular power. Not that much power. Good chance at one. Where you going, ball? That's a good shot. shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So, dirty chance. Third shot coming up now from the bunker. That was a good shot right there. Look at that. Holy cow. Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe like to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst right. shot in the world. Ten foot putt. Yes, nicely done. It's in for birdie. And it's into red figures now at one under par. Now a seven footer. Okay, can't take cuts that length for granted, but that's in for a par. Whew. Moving on to the 575 yard par five second at Augusta National. Right, so after two that, par fives on this first five, nine. Reachable in two for many one. in the field, but the green is protected by large, deep bunkers. Right of the green. And this is going to be a good result. It's going to catch that slope a bit and keep getting better here at hole number two. 312 yards. Yeah, this is a good drive. Watch it trundle down the hill a bit. Well done off the tee here at hole number two. The best shot he's going to have all day. Something to Ah, 
<laughs> oh, into the crowd. Had half the equation on that shot, the distance. And he's not happy about quite that? the accuracy. Missed it. Hair to the right. Yeah, not quite a foul ball. Kept it in the ballpark. And, um, All right. We're going downhill. Like that's gonna run. This one, if it runs, well, we gotta still go through the fairway, right? So we're gonna get a little bit of slow down there. Then if it runs, running only about half the green. What do you think? Oh, that's why I'm trying to keep it in the middle. I want it to run right up the hill. Oh, in the bunker. That will not be an eagle putt, far from it. It's into the left front bunker here at the second. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. That really makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> that he's an AI and not a person. Be laughing at him. Frankie's not going to make the highlight shows tonight, but he might still make par, which isn't all bad. Hey, let's let's face it. That is uh, very forgettable. Missed it left. Mm, that's a letdown. What the heck was that? Okay, that's finished off for a par. Dang it. <sighs> that's frustrating. I think there's some input lag sometimes between the controller and uh, game. Okay, that one cleaned up without any issue, and that is a par. Now to the short par for third, right. only 350 yards. I think one of the more under underrated holes on this golf course. We know those five pars plus the 12th on that second nine get so much attention, and I'm rightly so. But this is a wonderful hole, strategic, and you need some touch here. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Ninety three yards. That one looking a little right. 
This is going to try and stay on the fairway, and I believe it will up along the right edge and put a good shot. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Looking at 101 yards to the front, 116 to the hole. Pin is very accessible here, right in the center of the green. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. So the great tee shot left him here. Now his second from relatively close range. Sorry about that, chat. Dog's being a douchebag today. Hmm. Going uphill. That's got a nice loft on it. We can do that. Uh, we're, but we are still going uphill, so we need some more power. Um, Look at that, chat. Nineteen feet away. That's nice putt. Oh, that's the coolest thing about this game, Rich. I mean, it's just now it's another shot. So now eyeing this one for birdie. You're going to get on this course. Oh, it's that really choppy today. Well isn't it? done. Cleans that up in the hole. Get that patch today. I wonder if they changed some of my settings. Next up, the stout par three fourth here at Augusta National, measuring 240 yards. Middle to long iron is the play here, but accuracy is key with the two bunkers protecting the front of that green. All right, what did that last one put me at? Six under, correct? Miss this, we're either going to be in the back of the hole or the back of the green or in the bunker. garbage and this is going to be in the short grass just off to the left and this one well over the green and it's back into the second this is still better than him huh
Ooh, that green, dude. Frank, you have to appreciate that. That is excellent technique right there to get right around gimme range. Should help him walk away with just a bogey. Putting, no doubt. This sorry. is such a tricky green, too. So that's very well done. Oh, maybe we should. All right, chat. Let's do this. That is a fast green. Yeah, good concentration there. Going to putter from off the green, but this one falls to save par. I'm going to start giving golf lessons. Not really. <laughs> one over for the day. All right, so he's we back moved to down even to hole number now. five, Magnolia, a par four at a stout 495 yards. Avoiding the two deep bunkers left of the fairway is a must, but a sloped green full of little hollows makes getting an approach to birdie range no small feat. I'd be really mad if I was out there on the green drawing chalk lines to read the greens, wouldn't they? <laughs> All right, what are we doing? This one turning left a bit off the tee. Oh, 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 well, you can't walk right. out and drop Woo. it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Come on, dude. The computer AI, you should instantly be able to know what you're doing. bad shot what a great tee shot bisected the fairway beautifully yeah I'd like to have been up higher on the green though or on the fairway Fading that shot out a little bit. Well, going to be a lengthy putt for birdie, but on a long approach like that, anything on the green is a welcome sight. All right, so we're going up three feet. Oh, this is going to... at that arch. Almost want to pull another club off. Give this a try. Way far back there. For these players, it lands it on the putting surface from a million miles Maybe away. I pulled that other club and off. Still manages to hold the green. Oh, I thought he was going to make that putt. A lot of movement on this putt left to right. I think the idea here is just to get it inside, sort of a three-foot circle. But circle? Me? 
either going to be in the hole or another six feet away. Ah, uh, too hard. Mm hmm Okay. I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. And this will be a five-foot putt here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That looked like it was in. Look at his marker, it's hanging over the side of the hole. Two under par for the round. Okay, no problem with that one. We make our way now to the 180-yard par 3 sixth, second par 3 on the first nine here at Augusta. Elevated tee looks down on a two-tiered undulating green that will absolutely test you. I thought he said two. Take a look when we get done with this. Gonna wind up smack dab in the middle of the green. It's not where I wanted to be. That's where I wanted to be. Gonna beat me yeah, on this that's whole nicely track. done. Birdie putt coming up here at the sixth. Gonna have to give this a pretty good thump. This is well back there and into the hill. Too hot. Way too hot. Twelve feet still to go. I'm glad he sucks. Oh no, I think he was <laughs> about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. Seen folks hang that putt out to the right. It does not move as much as you think. See what that screen did? Minus one for the day. All right, so I'm back to five under par. Look, my ball's still in the hole. So that'll be a par. No damage done, as he'll stay at plus two. On to hole number seven. It is a par four at an even 450 yards in length. 
anything into the pine trees running the length of the fairway can oftentimes lead to a bogey or worse yeah. with this the is three the front, front line, bunkers I remember this hole. preventing any thoughts of running one up to the green. Bit of a misstep there. That ball's going to come to rest in the second cut. Oh, come on. Hate what it does. All right, you gonna let me swing now? That will do just fine. What was happening is it wasn't reading my forward stroke on the stick. It was acting like I just let off. And it was so a wayward tee shot and down to Noda. When you find yourself in the trees at the seventh, you are forced to use the hit and hope strategy where you hit the ball and hope that it somehow oh, finds the, the green. tree. That sucks. And this is going to come down off the pine tree and into the second cut from the fairway. Let's go to Noda. Well positioned in the fairway, Up but there is no feet. guarantees to hit the green. It is protected by a series of bunkers all around it, and precision is a requirement. Got plenty of loft here. One up 17 feet, so we'll need a little bit more power. And we're going into the bunker chat, our favorite place. That is always so disappointing from that kind of a spot. We did bunker come up challenges. Short. Yeah, I would you're win your chops every time. Over that one the shot you think you could hit directly at the flag. Uh, now, test for the short game. Oh, he's going to be over there with us. <laughs> it's tough to take an extra club out of that lie, Rich, because it's always in the back of your mind. If you hit it properly, it's going to email the green. He gave that one everything he had and really Ooh. gouged it, and still, it was short. Oh, it's running back. Look at that run. Holy cow. Thank for stopping. That was going for the hole. Okay, not a bad recovery from out of the sand. And a chance, maybe, to limit the damage to one drop shot. came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. Putt. Safely home, though it is for bogey. Now three over for the round. So he'll finish that off for his par to remain one under for the round. We move now to the eighth here at Augusta. This is an uphill 570 yard par five. Avoid the fairway bunker off the tee and reaching in two is definitely a possibility. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Yeah. 
This starting toward the right side. There's certainly a lot of different ways to play a par five. And have to figure out the best way to play this par five using three shots to reach the green. Now from just under 300 yards, a second from the fairway at the par five. That was a runner. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. Thanks, game. It's crap. Decision time here at the par five, and that lie really determines everything. Ball sitting on the pine straw. Just how far or how much can you get out of this lie? I'm not gonna get crap. I gotta go over that stupid mound. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. We got up 16 feet. There we go with it. A bad day for golf, chat. Playing the same set of holes that we did on Monday, and I was four under par, and I'm only one under par today. Ugh, garbage. Probably gonna miss this one. Mm, good job of dead right by the hole, but he could not get it to go in. Killing me, Smalls. Ten foot putt left. Oh. Frank, that is painful. All you have to do, just hit it. Just hit it. So he'll tidy that up for his par, and he'll remain in red figures at one under. Par 4 ninth is intriguing here at Augusta National. This is where you can see just how hilly the golf course is. It may not show up on television that way, but you can certainly feel it as you make your way up to this ninth green. Gonna be a beautiful draw down the hill into the big clearing, and it'll set up a good look at this ninth green. That's gonna be a long drive 337 yards, 50 yards on the ground, <laughs> actually, 60 yards on the ground. Now this, his second from out of the pine straw. <laughs> I 
In the bunker. Nope. That one was running so hot. Second shot coming up. Let's bring got, in Chad? Iona Steven. Got a nice high arc He's got on that 118 ball. yards. We'll get you to the front of the green, feet. but it's 132 if you're going to go for the flag. And that pin, well, it's back left today. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. That was a good shot. This from about 10 feet. Woo! That's not a good shot. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. This is going down. I do believe it's going to stay out. Okay, that's in first par here at the ninth. And well, that's going to mean this for is the a day, 135 on this first nine. Okay, so it's a bogey for him here at the ninth. And it's going to be a disappointing 40 we on the first nine, like four today. over par. Well, that about wraps things up for us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Nabolo. Enjoyed it, Frank. Certainly did, Rich. Once again, the golf course provided more than a stir. All right, I'm going to check some. Did select first nine. I could have swore that I selected back now. Is that what I selected? That selected the second now. Alright. Yeah, we got plenty of time tonight. You want to play the back nine of this? Or should we move on to Scotland? Basically, JT, I'm leaving it up to you. <laughs> uh, tournaments only take a few minutes. this one again better than what we were doing disappointed that that picked the first nine of the second EA nine. sports continuing coverage of the world of golf brings us to the border of France and Switzerland and beautiful Evian Resort Golf Club with Frank Navalo by my side, I'm Rich Lerner. Frank, as weekend golfers know, there's always part of your game that you're focused on. So I'll ask the question, what are you going to be looking at here today? Tee to green, Rich. I, I know people always say putting is important. I'm not going to say it's overrated, but tee to green. If you want to play good golf day in, day out, fairways greens, that's the secret.
So let's get out and pick up the action as we head to the tee at the par 5 15. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. A uh, wonderful drive, and now looking at a second shot that you've got to throw up the right half. There's no question about One, it. Carry those two crazy. fairway bunkers. That's your main objective. Probably gonna be a bad shot, Chad. I knew it. Two okay. solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Just five feet left. Yeah, can't take those for granted. Good concentration there, and it's in for a birdie. Stinking we start our finishing stretch at Evian Resort with yet another par three. 151 yards, 16. Elevated tee looking down on a green with two bunkers at the back and a small pond on the left. Once again, wind can make club selection crucial. Oh, this could be good. Okay, that one's dancing. Ooh, Not a problem. Ooh, ooh. That's in for birdie. I thought that Max was going to miss, chat. Two under par. I really thought that was going to miss. The 17th here at the Evian Resort, a shortish par four, coming in at only 335 yards. But before you take out the big stick to go for it, keep in mind, you'd need to play a pretty hard left to right because those trees on the right-hand side are awfully difficult to clear. In the tree. Oh, made it. Woo. And back down. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. And it's a solid pill. start to the 17th. Good tee shot opening up the green all the way uphill, so be careful that you've got enough club. Okay, not particularly close, but a chance for the putter to do its thing. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Yeah, and over a putt like this, you've really got to trust the fact you've banked the practice, you trust the process, and certainly trust the line. Frank, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in.
Yep, came out of that one quickly. That was never online. What the heck, chat? What is going on today? One under on the day. You love a finishing hole where you can make something happen, where you can do something memorable. That is the 18th tier at Evian. It's 478 yards, and it's not a par four. It is a par five, so definitely a good chance to get it home in two and maybe make that eagle and be smiling all the way to the clubhouse. Not gonna do it like that. So that ball nestles down in the rough, just got away a little bit on that tee ball. Down four feet. Oh, this doesn't look promising. Nope, that just did not look right from the start, and that ball is into the hazard. So with a penalty stroke added in, now lying three, readying for shot number four. I don't know what's going on. It must have changed something with the physics or this hole's been a bit of a struggle but beautiful short shot and a chance to get uh, away with the path out of that three click bull crap oh bull crap right now a uh, very good recovery there put his second shot in the water but is still going to walk away with a par alongside frank Navalo, i'm rich learner for ea sports thanks for joining us Par's goodbye good for enough. now I almost don't want to spend points and throw one. All right, where are we at? We're going to play four rounds in Scottsdale. Now, from the Valley of the Sun, this is EA Sports coverage of PGA Tour Golf. Today, from TPC Scottsdale, here in the desert southwest. With Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner. Pleased to be joining you here in the Scottsdale Sun. And Frank, apart from either embracing or trying to tune out the carnival-like atmosphere here in Scottsdale, what do you need to do to be successful at a course like this. Have fun first and foremost, because I know when you stand on that first tee at TPC Scottsdale, the first thing you want to go to is 16, 17 and 18. So just enjoy the first 15 holes first. So let's get out and pick up the action as we head to the tee at the par 5 15. No problems there. That's gonna wind up safely in the fairway. And it's this shot that I'm worried about. 
I'm almost better just going into that bunker and out of the bunker instead of the back of the green. Going what? Uh, it's up. Th That's good. The bunker. Okay, that's safely on to the island, though it does wind up in one of the two bunkers, so it won't be an eagle putt. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for Birdie. Ah, yes, very well read to one right. under now for the day. Rough, okay. This so is absolutely far. one of the coolest holes in golf. This is a little bit like dropping Fenway Park into the desert, trading a baseball bat for a golf club. And it is bottom of the ninth, bases loaded, tie game, World Series rowdy. I mean, there is nothing like it in golf. Just okay. Not what these fans were hoping for when they were sprinting across the golf course at seven in the morning. That's for sure. Not even close. Mm, yeah, tough to know just how far out to the right to play that one. And that was not far enough. So that in for his par, and it'll keep him at one under. Up next, the 332 yard drivable par four 17th. Players going for the green need to avoid the water short and left of the putting surface. A miss right will still allow for a fairly simple up and down. They say about water. Oof. Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. Getting set for a second shot here at 17. Let's see if he can finish with a good one. This ball in the rough, but a pretty good lie. Short. He's hoping here to at least get this to tap in range, but it is for birdie. Yeah, he had a pretty good run at that, but it won't go down. Still pretty good from there. 
sensitivity on my controller is definitely different. One under for the round. We finish our day here at TPC Scottsdale with a 442 yard par 4 18. Strategy off the tee is key. Challenge the lake on the left and cut the corner of the church pew bunkers or play it safely down the right side of the fairway. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. 159 Five yards left to the hole. Wind definitely hurting in his face. Um, yep, it finished on the green. <laughs> Less said the better. Now this hole. would be the way to finish a round, a cross-country look at birdie at the last. Off. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. All right, one under par. That's not. Well, that'll horrible. wrap it up for us today. We saw a lot of great golf, Frank. Yeah, the course was good. It was gettable for some, but uh, you know, in the end, it really gave you what you deserve, just the way we want it. And that'll do it for our entire team. All right, let's see. Dean Andrews. Oh, yeah, I mean, they do make a difference. It's kind of an RPG uh, game. Definitely helps with the control. Obviously, it doesn't help with the sensitivity of the... I guess that's what I... Excuse me. I'm in my toes.
Oh yeah, let's see what we got in this. I can change. First nine are golf. Let's see if we can beat old Bubba Watson. What do you think? Maybe we want to play with Jessica? Don't they wear skirts anymore for golf? <laughs> yeah. Lexi's... Now, from the home of golf, EA Sports, so proud to welcome you to the old course at St. Andrews. Rich Lerner up in the tower, pleased to be joined, as always, by Frank Navalo. And Frank, we cannot talk about the old course without talking about bunkers, 112 of them in all. We know they can derail around, so what's the key to avoiding them? You just mentioned it, really, avoid those bunkers. Um, they're, they're beautifully positioned. You know, if they're downwind, you got, you'd be surprised. The ball can run 60 or 70 yards. So you might be wondering why that bunker's down there, and then all of a sudden you find it. So just, just keep your eyes open. But, yeah, hey, it's a, it's a beautiful walk, and um, that's really the way golf was invented and should be played, especially at St. Andrews. I haven't played this course yet, so we'll see what happens. Gonna work this up that left-hand side. And that'll come to rest in the left side of the fairway and a good shot to get things rolling. Ooh, that fairway is quick, ain't it? Hey, lady, you gonna do something? Ooh. And that, that not the longest of drives to start out, but it is safely in the fairway. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. 121 yards is the number we're looking at, and the pin on the front portion. And kick our butt as a shot. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still, inside 40 feet, just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second to this par four.
Okay, on the green, but that's going to leave a putt that will get your attention. Here we go. This one for birdie. Eighteen feet from the bottom of the cup. That one just going to sneak on by. Had a horrible start. Now to the second hole here at the Open Championship, and Frank, what's the best way to attack? Ideally, if you're not the longest hitter, just down the right side, but if, uh, if you've got um, some wind conditions, wind behind your back, you can nearly drive this green. Out of the screen, it looks like the green's just gonna reach up and grab your ball for the fairway. Crap, you don't know where that ball's gonna go after it. Yeah, I'll never get out of those bunkers. Yeah, just <laughs> what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Bunkers look like they bombs went off in them and just created craters. That ball roll. Holy cow. So Iona, this is second from the fairway. 137 right, is the number four feet. and the pin on the left portion of the green. too hot. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. Yeah, a little hotter this than I wanted. Cut pretty crap, hard to green. his left. It's for birdie. Oh, no, just appeared to be befuddled by the break there. This is a nine footer. Oh. 
Oh, no, I thought that was in for sure. Just a little jag right at the end going to leave it on the lip. Oh. Jesus Christ. To one over par early on in this round. <laughs> At the third hole now, Frank, it looks relatively easy, but you know there's some danger lurking somewhere out there on the old course. There is. There's the pot bunkers down the right side. This is a tee where really you want to have an idea where that wind is coming from. If it's into your face, you might want to be a little cautious and go towards the middle of the golf that course. That is but not a bunker, you, chat. Well, then it's worth, worth challenging that right side. Literally have to shoot backwards to get out of that thing. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. It was trying to go to that bunker, wasn't it? A little under 90 yards left here for his second. That. Rich, is that eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but it is a great approach shot. A birdie putt down to Iona. Seeing it's one thing, but trusting it is a whole different ball game. You've got to start this way out to the left because it's going to break off to the right and then it's going to flatten out towards that final section of the putt. Holy cow. Oh, that is so nicely judged from that far away. That required a Did lot of touch down that? the slope. Well done. Oh, Not this much to this one. It's this for course birdie. in real life would freaking kill me. Yes, well done there. And back to even par now on the day. Okay, can't take putts that length for granted, but that's in for a par. 
Frank, a much more difficult hole here at the fourth at the old course. Yeah, that it new championship tee is really made that? for a very hard par four. What the heck? Um, two ways to play it, down the right, that's a very, very narrow strip of fairway. Most will go to the left side, a little more conservative, but uh, either way, tough second shot. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Wow. Long run. Look at them at first, and it's like they're wide open. Easy, but then you get close, and that cr yeah, this is insane, man. Bunkers look Second like shot so coming up. Let's check in drill. for the first time with Notavigay the third. And drill well, straight down. 138 and yards to the front. The 146 up. to the hole. Pin just on the front edge. Bunker. from about eight feet. That is so painful when you come up that short. Why is it that putts on line come up short? Yeah, good concentration there. That's a distance where a putt could get away. <clears throat> but that, in for a par. Two over for the day. Well, here's a real scoring opportunity. The first par five on the front side at St. Andrews, the fifth hole, it's only 514 yards. That greenhouse, this is a football field deep. The key here, yet again, avoiding the big bunkers. They're called the Seven Sisters bunkers off the tee. If you do that, you'll have a great chance to get home in two.
Wow. No fairway here. This one in that rough. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, no, don't go in there. Oh. Oh. And that one going to wind up in the bunker. Oh, that's so sucks. I own a this a second from the bunker. Yeah, unfortunately, a bit of a leaky tee shot there, finding one of the Seven Sisters bunkers down the right hand side, and that will prevent getting home in two at this par five. Okay, that's a good safe play. Get it back out into the fairway, get some distance if you can, and get set to try and make a good third on this par five. It's going to the freak next county. Really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Yeah. No, that's Man, not too bad. Was... Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So oh, a good chance, really outside chance for better. Go back across the green. Now note this for birdie. And this is a putt pro's practice for hours. Slightly uphill and dead straight. Pretty more good practice. read there. Definitely good speed, and that just skips a foot or so by. Can't talk. Yes, nicely Ooh. done. It's in for birdie, and it's into red figures now at one under par. Like that was like a double bogey. Here. Ow. Oh, shoe, and that is a par. Now to the 374 yard par four sixth, another scoring opportunity. And just be very careful of the wind conditions here because that'll affect the strategy off the tee, but bunkers left and right to be avoided. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there.
Second shot, good look at the green. Oh, this is straight at it. It's a really good that, line. That's a real. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. Second shot forthcoming from the left side of this fairway. In golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. You'd love that a do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just, oh, that's very poor from that range. Nope. This a little under 10 feet for birdie. A tough course, Chet. Blame JT, it's all his fault. Mm, that's a good putt right there. That's a birdie, and it is back to one over now for the round. So we'll finish that off for his par to remain one under for the <laughs> round. Back here at the Open Championship on the seventh hole here at the old course. Yeah, blind tee shot. This is one uh, one hole that really does advantage the long hitter. Um, they can get it very close to this green, but this green has got some uh, amazing undulations in it. straight down into the heavy rough. <laughs> that was a horrible shot. Nope, that wasn't the right line, and he'll pay the price as this ball gonna run off the fairway and into the bunker. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Oh, where are you going? Doesn't even make the green. Should have stayed in the bunker, really. <laughs> Holy cow. Now this for birdie. And this is a nice, smooth right to lefter. This is the go zone. 
But... Oh yes, that's the right line and it's in for a birdie. Well done. Yep, good work not to let that get away, and that's in for a par. Arriving now at the first of only two par threes at the old course, 166 yard, eighth featuring a high lip bunker guarding the front of a green that is difficult to hold. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. This a birdie putt. And this is gonna be moving left the whole way. It's gonna be one big arc all the way to the hole. Oof. Out of a shot, don't I? No, I think he knew it right when it left the putter face. Didn't get sure that did. far enough out to the right. Cleans that up in the hole. So we'll tidy that up for his par, and he'll remain in red figures at one under. Frank, the old course all about avoiding the pot bunkers. They're so nasty. This is a good example here, the ninth hole. Yeah, the pot bunkers really do be avoided, the ones in the middle of the fairway, but there are some that sneak in on the left side, plus that gorse on the left. Um, if you can carry that last one, which is called the end hole, then there's a chance to perhaps drive the screen. That will do just fine. That bunker. Okay, I can handle that. That's a head scratcher. That approach shot from uh, relatively close in. I would have been looking at 10 to 15 feet. So from the rough, his second at nine.
This one of the longest putts you can have on a golf course, though it is for birdie. Like she made it. All right over top of the hole. Nah, that's going to wander off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. And this will be a five foot putt here. Well hold, that's in for her par at the ninth. And this will be a one under front side as he goes out in 35. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And that will mean it's a front nine score of 35, one under par. Well, Frank, how do you begin to sum up what we've seen at the birthplace of golf today? Ooh. The course, the scenery, the weather, the play. It was really all vintage St. Andrews. Absolute pleasure to play the old course once again, Rich. Um, you can see how technology might have changed it. There's a I few more par fours that are reachable these days. For horrible the for this course, is <laughs> run us out of time for today see where we're sitting four hundred and seventy six here. Too bad. But, all right, chat. Uh, JT, sorry we didn't get to do uh, back nine of Augusta. We'll try that next time. And we'll, maybe we'll just do both back nines next time. And then, um, I think Wednesday try and do actually I think next Friday uh, next Friday we'll try and do the, uh, the longer tournaments uh, we got back nine this will still be at Bandon, Oregon oh no it won't be it'll be a different course by next Friday This one will definitely be. All 18 at Augusta next Friday, chat. <laughs> All 18 at Augusta. So that'll take up pretty much that whole stream. Uh, so Wednesday we'll shoot for doing this one. Whatever it's at by the time we get all right, uh, thanks for hanging out, JT. Thanks for anybody else that happens to be in chat. And uh, we'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks.